Hi kids! Today we will learn about sound. So let's get started. Sound is a vibration that can be heard by a human or animal ear. Sound is created when something vibrates and faster the vibration, louder the sound. Like when the sticks hit the drum head. Drum head vibrates and produces sound waves. Even when we speak, our vocal cords vibrate because of which sound is produced. So, every time we hear a sound, it's because of some vibrations that produce some sound waves which reach our ears. So kids, cause of sound is a vibration and it can travel through air, water, liquids, and even solids. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Let's see. Can sound travel through air? Take two spoons and bang them together. You hear the sound. It shows that sound travels through air. As there is only air between the source of sound and your ear. Now let's see, can sound travel through water? When you are under water or when someone's swimming under the water, he or she can hear all the sounds coming from the poolside. So it shows that sound can travel through water. Rather, sound travels faster in water than in air. Divers can listen to every sound that is coming from outside the water. This shows that sound waves can travel through water. Now let's see if sound can travel through solids. If someone knocks at the door from outside, the person inside the room can listen. And there is a solid object that is a door between the source of the sound and the ear. So, it shows that sound can travel through the solids. If there is any loud noise outside the room, you can hear the sounds that are coming from outside the room. That shows sound can travel through solids. Now let's have a look at a simple activity. You can also perform the same. You just need a friend of yours for this activity and a table. Place your ears at one end of the table. That can be wooden or metallic. Now ask your friend to tap on the table with his hands on the other side of the table. You will find the sound much louder in the ear which is placed on the table. It shows that sound travels much faster in the solid medium than in air. Friends, till now we learned that sound waves originates when something vibrates, like vibration of a string of a guitar when it's locked, vibration of our vocal cords when we sing or speak, vibration of door when someone knocks it, Every sound wave originate when something vibrates. Now, let's see how this sound wave propagates or moves. Any vibration causes the molecules in the object vibrate, which in turn vibrates the molecules in their adjacent medium. Like when a door is knocked, molecules of the door vibrate and they in turn vibrate molecules in the air. And this vibration passes on to the next and next molecules and this way sound travels 
from the door to the listener. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Sound waves always need some medium to travel. Medium can be air, liquid, or solid. And denser the medium, faster the sound waves travel. In the vacuum, there is no matter. So sound waves cannot travel at all in the vacuum. Now, we will see why do sound waves travel faster in denser mediums. Gases or air is the least dense medium and sound travels with least speed in air. Solids are the densest mediums, so the sound waves travel fastest in solids. Distance between particles in solids is very small, and so particles can pass the vibration to next particle very quickly, and so sound waves travel fastest in solids. Liquids are less densely packed, so sound travels second fastest in liquids, and air is the least dense medium. So, sound waves travel with least speed in the air or any gas. So friends, today we learn about sound. We will learn more about sound in the next section. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.